Welcome to electron line. Running off the derivatives, now let's start with the derivative of this hyperbolic secant of x. So again, the hyperbolic secant can be written as 1 over the hyperbolic cosine, which means that taking the derivative of the hyperbolic secant is taking the derivative of 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x, basically the expression for the hyperbolic cosine but inverted. So again, this is a quotient, but before we do that, I think I want to factor out the 2. Get rid of the 2 first, so this is 2 times the derivative of 1 over e to the x plus e to the minus x. That may make it a little bit cleaner. So here we're going to use the quotient rule. So this becomes equal to 2 times the denominator e to the x plus e to the minus x times the derivative of the numerator, which will be 0, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x. And since it's e to the minus x, when I take the derivative, I add a negative 1, which makes this negative e to the minus x. And the whole thing divided by the denominator squared, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared. So notice that this here definitely goes to 0. And then we can factor out a negative 1 that becomes a negative 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So this becomes equal to negative 2 times, well, we have e to the x minus e to the minus x. When I divide that by this squared, I'm going to write it as follows. I'm going to write this as e to the x plus e to the minus x. And then multiply that times 1 over and repeat this again as e to the x plus e to the minus x. Doing that, we realize that this here is really the, well, the hyperbolic tangent because it's a sine over the cosine. And this here is, let's see, that's the hyperbolic, well, almost the inverse of the hyperbolic cosine. But what I need to do is I need to take my 2 here and bring it back over here. So I'm going to take my 2, write this as a negative 1, and put the 2 over there. There we go. So now we have the inverse of the hyperbolic cosine, which is basically the hyperbolic secant, and here we have the hyperbolic, well, that's the hyperbolic tangent, because it's sine over cosine. So this becomes equal to minus the hyperbolic tangent of x, and this becomes the hyperbolic secant of x. And so when we take the derivative of the hyperbolic secant of x, so the d dx of the hyperbolic secant of x, we get the negative hyperbolic tangent of x times the hyperbolic secant of x. And that's how we know that.